Okay, Tyler, take it away with Bro Duder episode 26. All right. Welcome to Bro Duder episode 26. Today we're talking about some guy named Takashi. Apparently he's a rapper or some shit and he likes to shoot shit up and racketeer and all kinds of other shit. I don't know. I don't know anything about him. Welcome to Bro Duder episode number 26. This is the best fucking podcast on earth. Joe Rogan can go pound sand. Prepare your butthole lube and prepare to be offended. Showtime. I would like to talk about Takashi Six Nine, my favorite rapper. He's number one hottest. Oh, yeah. He's the hottest rapper in New York. New York. He's a king of New York. <laughs> Look at my skittle teeth, my skittle hair. Do you agree, King of New York? No. Who's the King of New York? Cardi B. I, I agree know. with Charlemagne. A Fifty Cent always Ooh. will be. Oh, you know who the King I will of New be York a hand is? boy. Biggie Donald Smalls. Trump. That's Donald. Who the king of New York. Look at this. Fucking who? Oh, t- Donald Trump. Typical oh. white bitch standing up for his white. Massa. I mean, I fuck with Fifty Cent heavy. <laughs> are they? Are they still is Fifty Cent and Takashi? Let me still? take you to the candy shop. Probably not anymore. Look at this guy. <laughs> hey, look at that. Uh, <laughs> no, King of New York. Let's see. <sighs> Bobby Schmurter for sure. Ooh. <laughs> no, is Meek Mill? No, Meek Mill's from Philly, huh? Not the I think Meek I think from New York. Is no, he? I think he's Philly. Um, I don't know. Taka- I mean, he says he's the king of New York because he has all these number ones, but he's yeah, which right is now. true. He's got number one after number one after number one. Technically, Cardi B is the queen of New York because she's got number one after number she's one and she's popping. Um, but other than that, I don't really... N- no hot New York rappers come to mind. So he could be right. He could be right. He's the most popping right now in New York. But that is not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about his recent scandal he's in. Actually, it's not even a scandal. It's a case. It's an actual racketeering case. Um, Stephen, you know a little bit of, about this, so I will uh, jib-jab back and forth with you about Mr. 6 9 the man tatted with 6 9 69 <laughs> times all over his body. Is it exactly 69 times? Probably, knowing him. So I got I got 69 tattooed 69 times on my body. Who can fuck with me? No one can say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Who gonna test my gangster? Who gonna test my gang? <laughs> they can't do nothing. <laughs> I'm king of New York. I'm hot right now. Okay. <laughs> he was uh, hit. Okay, so leading up to this, he recently fired all of his management team, his publishing team, his everything, his whole team. Management. Everything. Management. Uh, citing uh, the, re- the reason he cited was they he caught them basically stealing from him. So the story that he told Charlemagne and company on, which I have a, I have a opinions on Charlemagne too, but we'll, we won't get into that. He, he told them that <laughs> the reason why he fired them all was because he found out that justifiably that, that, you know, he, he, he always thought he was worth more. He, he just felt like, you know, why am I only getting what, what was he getting like 1.5 mil a pop a show or something like that. When he sh- he felt like he should wow. be getting more, I know. Oh no no no, he was getting like three hundred k. He was getting three hundred k. Yeah, it was three hundred k. Three hundred fifty k should be getting at least a million, and so he just thought something wasn't right, and his management team probably told him like, oh no 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 no, because this 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 this, and he found out for sure. This was his story. I'm not saying this is actual true fact, documented fact, but this is his story. Takashi. He found out. When his management, when he booked a string of shows, his management team booked it, told him he was getting fifty, like 300K a pop, 300K a show. And he was just, I guess he just was, wasn't content. He was just like, hmm, something's not right. So he called, he called personally. He didn't have his management team. He called the venues um, or whatever company they, they booked the shows with and said, hey, come on, I'm worth more. I, I should be getting at least more. I should be, should be getting more than what I'm getting right now. And the management team's like, what are you talking about? We just dropped, we just gave you uh, like 800,000 down payment or something. And the coach is like, what? And they're like, yeah, it's it's like, you're supposed to be getting like three mil a show. He's like, whoa, what the fuck? So he's immediately, all right, 
something's going on. Fuck this. Cancel all the shows. Cancel them. I'm not. I'm not going to play them. We'll give you your money back. I'm not cancel. I'm not playing these shows. And then that's when he canceled. I mean, that's when he fired all of his team. Apparently, too, that that uh, the venue place, the the promotion team, what's it called, promotion company, uh, that the management team hooked up with. Apparently, the management, his management, sent an ad, his mom's address to oh, the yeah. promotion company. It was a booking agent, wasn't it? Was it a booking agent? I don't know. Was he, I think it was a booking agent saying, "Hey, this is Six Nine's mom. If he doesn't follow through with the the contract with the deal, do whatever you want." And they told Takashi this, saying, "Like, what the fuck? Like, what kind of people are you dealing with here?" So that's the reason why Takashi gave his reason for firing everyone, but. There's a good chance it could have something to do with this racketeering case. Maybe yeah, he was trying that's to. What, I think. what do you think? I think it's it has something to do with racketeering for sure. I don't know. His, I mean, I listened to that Breakfast Club interview. It seemed a little sketchy. The whole firing of everybody and all that. I'm like, it does seem like know. something he would do. Like he's just it's, so yeah, impulsive. Yeah, Seems like, like I'll fire everyone. Fuck him. Yeah. I'm gangster. Test my gangster. <laughs> but. Now that we have this, this racketeering case is out in the public, and he's he could be facing prison prison time. Maybe he was doing this to cover up, or to ex- try to exonerate himself of some stuff, or distance himself from that. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Something that's what I think is very likely, anyways. Yeah, the heat's coming uh, down, so he's trying to separate himself. I, from I don't know how much time. Or what exactly? What what is the racketeering? What what exactly is he getting charged for? I don't know the details of it. But I know on I think TMZ posted a video. <laughs> it's racketeering <laughs> guns and drugs, right? There's like a lot of things. Like just gang, with gang shit. Yeah. And um I think TMZ posted a video s- such a dummy. But you know again, you can't he's a figure that he has a reputation where you can't really take him seriously because you don't know when he's trolling and when he's not trolling. Yeah. So he's on the phone with King of Trolls. He he had a beef with Chief Keef earlier this year. And on the uh, TMZ released a video. He was on the phone, speakerphone, you know, just just talking to Chief Keith's cousin. I guess they were kind of arguing, and they're both saying, like, you know, come on down, you know, when I see you, next time I see you in my city, blah blah blah, you know, that how it goes. And then at the end of the video, to cut, you hear Takashi saying, "Hey, I got I got three hundred racks on him right now. I got three hundred racks on his head." Basically telling his his group like, hey, you know, I have a hit on on Chief Keith's cousin. It's like, what's you're you're just incriminating yourself there. Yeah. So he's digging our deeper hole. Um, he digs it. He's all year long. He's just been been provoking different gangs, I guess, rival gangs. Again, it's like troll or is he serious? But then I think he goes online or in an interview saying, oh, I'm just trolling. It's all trolling, you know. But that's that's the exact kind of shit that gets himself in trouble. Yeah. He's, um, I mean, he's genius with his trolling. I mean. <laughs> it gets attention. It does. It gets a lot of attention. And I, uh, music wise, I like his music. It's it's. I like his music. I like it. I like I it. I like it too. Most it's, of it. I mean, it's most uh, of his songs. I I, I like. Huh? Oh, you like most of his okay. songs? I do like. Yeah, it's the one with the Nicki Minaj. I do not like that one. He kind of like goes music. a little soft, huh? Yeah. Kanye West song is good. He has two songs. I think it's Mama with Kanye and Nicki, and then the other song with that one's pretty good with just Kanye. That song's. Yeah, good. I've heard that one too. That I forgot good. how it goes, but it's good. I, I like his his first songs the most. Yeah, I haven't really listened to the whole new album yet. Me neither. But like Dummy, Gummo and, Dummy uh, Boy. Gummo, that was like one of my favorites. Kuda, Kuda, I think. Like those those yeah. first ones, he when he was going hard. Those are sick. Well, Freddie Wap, however you sound. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Wap, Freddie Wap, Freddie Freddie Wap, oh. Freddie Wap. Freddie Wap. Those I are, heard that. Those uh, are good songs. They have a wiretap of of his management. There you go. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how he got caught. Wiretap and some legal shit going on. Well, I heard but, they, 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 they were talking about putting a hit on him, Takashi. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they have oh, wow. the, whoever is, I think it's the, the ATF, something like that, whatever the organization is that, that's conducting it, that they have his management or some, someone in his team talking about putting a hit out on him, on Takashi. So they're saying he was in danger. Wow. You know what's, what does ATF stand for? Alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. What do they do? Fuck if I know. <laughs> so that's what I was that, thinking about. Regulate that shit. Illegal, illegal uses of firearms and. But, but that's alcohol. that's that's why I was Drugs. wondering about the name alcohol. 
Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> alcohol and tobacco. <laughs> so, I mean, are, is that the main force uh, um, designated to or established to enforce illegal moonshine being produced or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think what they the do, do deal with that, but it seems like random for them to be. Yeah. I and mean, I think it's the mainly the guns, you know? And tobacco. What gun the fuck? Thing. Yeah, that's random. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that should be separate from firearms. It's like probably an outdated, outdated name for an for a unit. Let's see. Yeah, police unit. Um, but okay, so I heard that he is he was recently switched to a prison or jail, whatever it is, that's notoriously known to house uh, witnesses that rat. Ooh. That snitch. It's uh, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. So apparently <laughs> alcohol Jesus. and tobacco are in the same category as explosives. Well, I mean, alcohol could be explosive. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Molotov, Molotov cocktail, baby. Deal. Come on. You Found play Counter-Strike. July 1st, 1972. So that's pretty old. It's outdated. But still, 1972? Alcohol? It yeah. It prohibition the, era. Based on the name, I was going to say, it sounds like it was made in like the 20s or some yeah. shit. Yeah. Uh, imagine living in the 20s where alcohol was prohibited and you had to go to speakeasies in order to get your alcohol. <laughs> that was probably kinda, the shit. kind of cool. It's pretty like, funny. Like suck, but <laughs> that's, that's kind of crazy. I mean, oh, we can get into to a whole another rabbit hole with that because, you know, alcohol being legal, but like it could really fuck up people's lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then other drugs aren't, aren't legal. Stuff like that. So I guess they were, I guess prohibition was justified because it was, that was their justification for, for the government prohibiting alcohol. What was it? Because it, uh, there was- like Health concerns? Health, no, health concerns, you know, got drunks just fucking up their families, breaking up families. They just saw it as a poison, which technically it is, but they saw it as a poison doing harm to so culture. Uh, I know there are some adverts like showing a drunkard kind of like abandoning his family and stuff like that. That was an example of of uh, reasons for prohibition. Hold on, look, go up. Go up, down, right there. This one? Every day will be Sunday when the town goes dry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Were they trying to say Sunday's a godly day? Oh, yeah, the t- town, no alcohol. Uh, research, research shows that prohibition reduced overall alcohol consumption by half during the 1920s. And consumption remained below pre-prohibition levels until the 1940s, suggesting that prohibition did socialize a significant proportion of the population in temper or in temperate habits, at least temporarily. Rates of uh, liver cirrhosis fell by 50 percent early in pro- prohibition and recovered promptly after repeal in 1933. Don't hover over that liver right cirrhosis there. link again, please. Why? AKA, do it. Do it again. <laughs> shit that's a beer belly right there oh, yeah um okay so <laughs> what do you think steven takashi gonna snitch you gonna be a snitch bitch i mean yeah i'm reading about him getting moved to this other facility it's yeah. a little questionable you just heard uh rick ross's verse on meek mill's album about that <sighs> i mean it wouldn't surprise me <laughs> if he does but he's all. but he Just goes he so hard in his it. song saying yo i'm a killer too and all how hard he is how gangsta he is what'd you say <laughs> does he write his own songs i have no idea he i did does. you know what? i did see an online post where uh it was like comparisons they're accusing takashi i don't know why i didn't gain any traction or any more media publications but um they're accusing takashi of stealing it stealing other people rapper shit and it was side by side. It's like, wow, that's weird. It's like really, really similar. Shit. But they're Who lesser known rappers. Oh, okay. They're kind of like local rappers. Yeah, fuck them. Probably. T- <laughs> <laughs> fuck them. Um, yeah. I mean, if if he, you really think he might rat, might snitch? It wouldn't surprise me. I don't know. I don't know if I don't really think he will or won't. But it won't surprise me. It's really does. hard to 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 call him on his gangsta because <laughs> he tries to act hard, but then he's also a troll. Exactly. Yeah. It's so like, is he trolling about acting hard? Seems, like just publicity, you know? Like he acts hard, but then he has rainbow hair. Yeah. I'm, I'm a killer. I'll fuck you up. I yeah, what's up with like, this fucking look? He looks like a fucking. Re- I mean, I'm straight up going to say he looks like a fucking retard to me. <laughs> he looks rainbow hair he's wearing like a fucking american he's a dummy boy outfit uh, i'm a dummy boy 
whole crew full of dummy boys and my dummy too. <laughs> That's a hard ass line. <laughs> <laughs> line. I know. Cool His album cool is at the top of the charts too. right now, apparently. That's yeah, oh, he's fucking, yeah. That's he's why he's the king of New York. Popping. He's the king of New York. He's popping every single every single he's dropped has been fucking fire. Like just, yeah. I mean, I'm not, not fire. Is. Like it's. I mean, I like it. I like yeah. most of them, but like they're killing it in the charts. Yeah. Top. Uh, I've never topics. heard his music. I'm not saying anything about that, but he looks. Yeah, his look is like crazy. a fucking idiot. I think he, that's if mainly listen, what if helps he, him. If you've never yeah. seen him, you listen to his music, you would be shocked when after you see what he looks like. Yeah, he like goes hard, he, like. Yeah, aggressive. Uh, his music rapping. reminds me of DMX. Yeah, hey, hey. that aggressive shit. He's got fucking rainbow teeth. Oh no, he got different teeth now. Never mind. He used to have rainbow teeth. Too. Oh yeah, like a rainbow grill. Oh yeah, I saw a picture of that. <laughs> you think that if he does snitch, that'll affect his? No, like, I think he'll still be popping the music. No, I don't think the kids will give a fuck. I don't. I don't think so. Kids won't give a fuck. <laughs> they'll. They'll still. Integrity lacks with people. Yeah, for sure. With uh, people nowadays, especially these millennials. I'm just kidding. I feel like I talk so much shit on millennials all the time. I'm a millennial. <laughs> I don't think it'll affect his music at all. Me neither. Um, but speaking of colorful and queer characters, the creator of SpongeBob. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> has died. By the time this airs, that's gonna be like two weeks old. Or something. Fuck? Oh, shit, so though. you? Oh, oh, what are you gonna say? People's deaths? Uh, uh, that happened two weeks ago. Yeah, that's exactly that's how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> everybody don't care. that day, everybody posts on, on I Facebook. I care. I care. Well, someone wrote it on here, and so it must affect someone deeply. Oh, it didn't. Uh, I mean, uh, I just put it on there because <laughs> I mean. I didn't even know the name of creator of SpongeBob before. I don't even I give a fuck about the died. creator of SpongeBob, so why? <laughs> it's just news shit that we could talk about, you know, in case we didn't have anything else to talk about. But I mean, I hate that show. I I liked I, it when I was a kid. Like, I, I still I like it. It's actually pretty funny. I never Bugged watched me. it, but I'll give you one thing. It's impressive that that as a kid it was on, and now I'm a full grown. Uh, adult and who has kids <laughs> and my son Oliver knows who Spongebob is he doesn't necessarily watch episodes but he just knows who Spongebob is it's crazy it has its moments I've laughed at it before <laughs> yeah, it's, got, it's, it's got some pretty funny moments in it I was like hey Juan did you ever watch <laughs> but it's just like so annoying to watch yeah. for me I did exactly that voice yeah. <laughs> that laugh when he laughs I hate that <laughs> Krusty Crab, whatever the fuck it's called. Crab Burgers. Uh, Krusty Crab. Crab. What's the burger name? The the Krabby oh, Patty. Shit. Krabby Patty, there we go. Krabby Patty. Okay, so just to put things in perspective, how big SpongeBob is, I don't know if this is true or not. I'm just looking this up on Google. Uh, SpongeBob, Square pa- SpongeBob SquarePants has grown into a nearly $8 billion a year oh, property oh retail for Nickelodeon. Oh, my God. With more than 700 licensed partners worldwide, making it the most <laughs> widely distributed franchise in MTV Network's history. MTV? I didn't even know it was on MTV. I thought it was Nickelodeon. Maybe MTV and Nickelodeon. Oh, Viacom? Are... Does Viacom own Nickelodeon? I don't know. Probably. I think Viacom owns MTV. Doesn't Fox own all of them? I mean... I don't fucking know. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Waiting. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know who? You know what? What the? What is the deal? Maybe Juan has more information on this. What is the fucking deal with Netflix canceling all of their Marvel shows? Because Disney's going to start their own streaming service. Oh, so you think it's going to go on Disney? I mean, they'd be stupid to cancel Daredevil. It's probably one of the. They most canceled popular. it. Yeah. And the and the actors are like tweeting, "Oh, you know, so sad." Da, 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 da. So it's like the it's done. Uh, I don't know. I mean. Why, why would so they cancel that? I've show? I've read that. Oh, it has something to do with Disney, but why cancel? Why not just say hey, we're moving to Disney? Yeah, no, just to I don't know, cr- cause a stir. If it's going to be do that, it, it wouldn't. It's going to be it's going to be worse. I guarantee it. Oh, if Disney does if, it, if they do it, yeah. Disney, because it's to be all PG. That's the, that was the appeal. That's why I liked Punisher. Is did they cancel Punisher? I hope not. That's the best Marvel show. I in my I opinion. watched. That's the one. That's the only one I've watched so far. I haven't really gotten to Marvel. It'll be all PG. No, they have like, hey, motherfucker. That little F word adds it for me. It really, really spices <laughs> no, it No, but you don't me. think Disney will do that? that oh, d- l- extra l- 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 blood that? shooting out of the villain's heads yes, as they get extra shot. Extra gory. Disney, Disney Hell didn't yeah. make Deadpool? 
Who? Yeah, but they do it. They let Sony do Deadpool. I don't know exactly how it works, but Disney they own they own a, Deadpool. But yeah, they, they own Deadpool, Sony. but they don't want the Disney name to be on it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Sony does like Deadpool. They did Venom. They don't do any rated R material, pretty much. So they don't want anything. So they probably won't then. On yeah, their but, own, especially on their streaming. Shows. Was was Daredevil pretty gory? It had its moments, I think, but not really. But they did like beat each other up pretty bad. There was yeah. blood, but oh, Disney like, can't have that. People no weren't blowing up. Disney definitely can't have that. But when they start their own streaming service, maybe they won't put Disney on. Well, I don't know how they're going to work because if they don't advertise that, oh hey Disney, this is our platform, then it, it's not going to reach as many people. You know, if people see mm -hmm. that brand name Disney on there, they're going to go, oh shit, I'll, I'm, I might subscribe to this because it's Disney. I don't know. For me, okay, this is my opinion. This is my viewpoint. For me, whenever I see, like Disney makes some good, good uh, kids movies. I mean, kids movie. I say good kids movies because I can take my kids to watch a, a Disney movie and they still have like underlying adult jokes in there that yeah. I get. It's enjoyable. But for me, when I see that Disney logo on something that's like, that I, like mar a Marvel something Marvel, I'm just, I'm not too hyped for it. Cause I'm like, all right, it's going to be some diluted watered down, uh, NPC friendly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bullshit show or movie. When I see Netflix, it's like, hell Punisher, yeah. okay. All right. Anything goes, let's see what's going on here. Yeah. So it could be, I've never watched these shows that I haven't seen Daredevil. Or Jessica Jones, is Jessica Jones canceled. I know Iron Fist yeah, is canceled. So. Iron Fist canceled. Luke I've, Cage was canceled. I haven't seen those, but I'm pretty everything sure. Disney then yeah. canceled. I haven't seen those, but I'm pretty sure it, if they move to Disney from Netflix, it's going to be a watered down version. Oh, yeah. For sure. I mean, maybe not those because those are PG 13. Oh, are they? They're not I as. I don't think. Well, I don't know. Let's look at so Daredevil. Punisher. Daredevil gets pretty. So, intense, so Punisher was, was kind of like more violent, extreme one. Yeah, oh, that was way awesome. more. Punisher, yeah, was, Punisher was the best one. Okay. No wonder why I loved it. Let's see. Um, what's the... And it's weird that these shows were getting... Yeah, PG-13. It's weird that these shows were getting canceled because... Like Iron Fist, I remember reading or looking at little snippets of like the next season coming up and people were on Reddit. Oh, Punisher is R. Yeah, Punisher is R. Right, definitely. And, and yeah, and on... Uh, on Reddit, people were excited. Oh yeah, he's finally gonna get his mask and his his costume. Like they're, it was like developing. The story was developing, well, but then all of a sudden it's canceled. Daredevil or uh, Iron Fist? Iron Fist. Yeah, the first season, like it was cheesy. The story was really good, I thought, but like the actual acting and the way they kind of presented it was kind of cheesy. But I enjoyed it still, and uh, I think those shows, they're like I said, they're PG thirteen. I seriously doubt Iron Fist. So. Daredevil's PG-13, and that's by far more violent than Luke Cage or Iron Fist. I've watched both of those. Not all of it. Not, I've only watched the first seasons of those. Um, and if those are getting taken down and Punisher still hasn't gotten taken down, it makes me think that they're just going to move to Disney even more. Because if Punisher hasn't gotten canceled yet, then they're probably just going to leave it on Netflix. They probably don't want to bring any of that rated R content over to their platform, which is what they're doing with movies already, like Venom and Dare or uh, Venom <clears throat> and uh, Deadpool. You know what? Maybe that's why. Well, who knows? It's still up in the air for Punisher to see if it gets canceled or not. Because I think uh, Luke Cage or Iron Fist was the first to be canceled. I think it was Iron Fist, the first to be canceled, but that was like months ago. And it, they just cancel it one by one yeah. by one. But so if 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 Punisher doesn't get canceled, that makes sense because then Disney would want to take all those PG thirteen shows, put it on their platform, and then they'll just let Netflix keep the rated R Punisher. Yeah, that yeah. would be good. I have no problem yeah. with that, really. I mean, yeah, that makes like sense. they're making the a Deadpool for kids. Are they? Oh, yeah. the Christmas one, right? Yeah. I'm taking yeah. all over those. Wait, is it out already? It might be. I think if it is not, out. Yeah, it might be. It's either that or the Grinch. Guess which one I'm choosing. Uh, Deadpool. <laughs> nothing Nothing beats the original Grinch with Jim yeah, Carrey. Yeah, that's you know? true. It was so fucking good. I was watching it with my brother the other day. Uh -huh. And uh, there's some stuff in there that might piss off the SJWs today. Like, like when uh, he goes down to the town after uh, Cindy Lou Who uh, <laughs> invites him down to the town or whatever. And they're all doing their Christmas celebration. And uh, 
after shit goes down and he starts fucking the town up and destroying it or whatever and he's like trying to get a, a taxi and he's like waving the taxi down he's like taxi and the taxi driver just like drives right by him in his tiny little car and he looks at him and he's like it's because i'm green isn't it <laughs> <laughs> oh i love that movie you gotta watch uh, it again shit. it was a great great christmas movie i love that shit i was decorating uh my tree last night and i put on really? Uh, <laughs> uh, see do you see these this you hear this guys millennials nowadays they see a family nuclear <laughs> family and they label it as gay what is this world coming to <laughs> jesus i Anyways. saw a meme that now, said feminists in 2019 be like you're bigoted because you don't you only like men or something like that <laughs> <laughs> um go ahead and no i i was i was looking on netflix I just search for Christmas movies, all shit, or stuff I already saw. It was a lot of generic shit, or like Netflix originals, which aren't very good. Yeah. Did you see the Santa Chronicles or something like that? That's with uh, Kurt Russell. I put it on for my brother, but I wasn't actually. It's was all right. It. I fell asleep, but <laughs> last night I put, uh, I couldn't find anything on Netflix. Couldn't find anything on Hulu, so I went to Amazon Prime. All these subscription services, Jesus There's Christ, too fucking many. Um. Hulu's trash. So, no, Hulu's good. I like Hulu. Because you get TV, like current you TV. You still got to fucking pay to see advertisements. Fuck No, that. I pay for the one with no advertisements. Thank you very much. Oh. Anyways. And <laughs> fucking peasant. I don't. Where's your what? <laughs> <laughs> Where's your what uh, privilege now? <laughs> um, so I went on Amazon Prime and I, uh, they had, uh, what's it called? Daddy's Home 2. I didn't know that was a Christmas movie. I didn't know they considered that the first one wasn't a Christmas one, was it? Uh, is that Daddy's Home, Mark Wahlberg, so. Mark Wahlberg, Will Ferrell, Vince Vaughn. No, no, oh, no, okay. Vince Vaughn. I already okay. talked about the the, the Vince yeah. Vaughn Christmas movie, um, and uh, it was actually pretty funny. <laughs> Daddy's uh, the, Home, the, the what's it called? Daddy's Home too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's actually pretty funny. I posted a little snippet on my story. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! I can't believe they added that in there. Oh, I saw that. Oh Wait, my was god! It's a little kiss line, right? Yeah, it's yeah. a little kid standing under the mistletoe, and all these little girls are lining up to give him a kiss, you know, one by one. And then they show the <laughs> line, and out pops another little kid waiting in line, kind of eager, <laughs> like a, a little boy. Yeah. Oh, okay. it's all yeah. girls, and you just see like from behind one of the girls. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's really <laughs> funny. Out in line, little boy. Um, you. <laughs> uh, is there a problem with that Tyler are you a homophobic uh, he, was a, he was white are white you a, boy are you a homophobe white boy no it wasn't the kid was brown like Asian was looking. he it looked like me actually <laughs> 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 it did he was a little brown boy um what were we talking about before Christmas oh Marvel, uh, Marvel. And Disney and all that bullshit Marvel yeah it's just another fucking streaming service yeah, it's like you got HBO. Oh, DC you got has H their own Amazon. streaming service. I haven't checked out. Who but the fuck wants to watch that? <laughs> well, are you a fan of Batman? There's Gotham's on Netflix. You can watch that. Oh, yeah. you know, since, I'm, since I'm Batman's whatever to me. Yeah, you There's know, been since so many fucking since, Batman's exactly. already, it's like hold on, shut up. Since, <laughs> since <laughs> <laughs> it's been a month already, maybe a couple weeks, but we have to pay our respects to Stanley. Oh yeah, the creator, Stand, the creator of Batman, the creator of Superman. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up, hold Are up, you serious? Stop it! <laughs> uh, Wait, you're telling me he didn't make them up? Creator of one of my favorites, Spider Man. Spider Man's my favorite. One of my favorites. I think I like Iron Man. Just, I think I like just Robert Downey Jr. because uh, he's great. Fucking, he actor. is like the perfect Iron Man, though. He is the perfect Iron Man. No one can replace him. Although, who do you think is going to replace? Uh, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Mm. Uh, fuck. They're hey, gonna Dub. replace him? Yeah. Yeah, Hugh he's, Jackman he's said, done. I'm not doing another one. He was a fucking good one, too. He was really yeah. good. So, so he's got the look. They've got large boots to fill. Yeah, hell yeah. That's a good fuck, question. I, I wonder who could. They're probably gonna make him black. I would say, I, I would say, I would <laughs> say. LGBT. Exactly. Look okay, at you said you could, they would make him black. I would say, what's his name? Chris Momoa or whatever? But he's already... Oh, he's going to be Aquaman. He's already Aquaman. Is that his oh, name? Chris Momoa. Jason Momoa. Jason, Jason Momoa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He would he's, be a good Wolverine. Did the Aquaman yeah. already come out? Donald Glover. 
<laughs> He's Simba, skinny. okay? Old oh, fucking. yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think about Simba, this new CGI bullshit? Uh, Visually looks awesome, but why? Yeah, I don't, it's like, I, yeah no why? point in it, but What's it looks point? interesting. Like, it looks good. I'll definitely watch it just because I want to see the difference and cry again and, like, real 3D cry. <laughs> but, uh, but who asked for this? <laughs> No Nobody. one asked for this. Does, does anybody it's ask for all the remakes? Yeah, they're I know. Making Shrek they're again. doing. There's they're another. They're Shrek. doing Dumbo next year too. They're doing Aladdin Jeez. next year. Live action Dumbo. There's a there's a yeah. ho, there's a Hollywood report that they they're gonna make. Oh, uh, reports are. Uh, what's it? Back to the Future is the number one re most desired oh reboot. My, why do we know remakes? And do reboots? not reboot Back to the Future, please. I just want some original fuck. Actually, no, 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 no. I think Back to the Future is a a fond movie for Juan. Back in his day, oh, what yeah, do you one think? Of my favorites. What do you think? It's a trash movie, but it's good. <laughs> what? It's a trash movie, but it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's trash about it? Well, I mean, the plot is just like some guy meets a fucking like crazy doctor or you know a crazy scientist. All he had to say was plot, and Steven's like, "Yep, agree." <laughs> <laughs> like some old ass mad scientist is like best friends with a high schooler. You know, and he's like <laughs> hell, hanging out with him, and he's trying to bang his mom. It's just, it's a little weird. <laughs> it's original as hell, though. It Come is, on, yeah, it is good. I like it. So, what do you think of the reboot? No, <laughs> I didn't even know there was, but fuck no. Yeah, there doesn't. Yeah. We don't need. We didn't need an all female reboot of Ghostbusters. We didn't need a reboot of uh, Dumbo or live action. We don't need a reboot of whatever Aladdin. I just talked about. Aladdin. Uh, this Lion is one. King. This is one Mary right Poppins. here. Oh, they are yeah. rebooting Aladdin? They're going to do all the Disney new... movies in live action. Yeah. I think they're just milking the stream. Fuck yeah, they are. Yeah. Hell yeah, they are. But Lion we... King doesn't count. Keep pe pe seeing people say it live, live action Lion King. I'm like, it's fucking CGI. It's yeah, CGI. It's still yeah. CGI live action. Action. With celebrity voice actors. Like, Although yeah. I am I am curious to see here Seth Rogen as Pumbaa. He's one of the only yeah. white cast members. That's pretty racist. And idea. I know. And... Bigot. <laughs> I know they that is racist just because it takes place in Africa it has to be an all black cast yeah we don't hear those complaints excuse me wow where's, where's the outrage on that no who plays uh, t uh, Timon or who's I voice Seth is Rogen, Timon right or Timon and no, Pumbaa that's Pumbaa oh, I don't know which one's which Timon, the pig Timon. is gonna be Seth Rogen I'm assuming Pumbaa oh Timon I saw I saw like a, a picture of all the faces and voice actors Timon and Pumbaa is it? No, Donald Glover is Simba. Beyonce, come on. I don't need a Beyonce to yeah, be... Yeah, I'm not really interested she, in Nala Beyonce. Or Nala, yeah. They could have gotten a better voice actor than her. Like, oh, cool. Just because... I feel like she just got the role just because she's Beyonce. Like, has she been in other movies <laughs> before? Yeah, really? has she done that much of much voice acting? Pro probably. There's, ha there's like a lot of animated movies that I don't see. But later on, I'm like, oh, shit. I didn't know they did a voice for this, for this movie. This is one I want that since we're on the topic of remakes. Billy, I don't even I, tell. Hold on, don't Jared? even tell me. I've never even seen the series, yeah, but still, don't Eichner. even. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think he'd be a good, good Timon. Don't even tell me that they're gonna redo Lord of the Rings. You've never watched Lord of the Rings? No, dude, you're missing out. Great I know, I want series. to, but they've never series. seen any of them. They're long yeah. fucking movies. Jesus yeah, Christ, dude, they're fucking worth every second of it though. Like yeah, they're I'll, I'll really good. The soundtrack alone is worth watching them for. Hey, I'm still I'm still working on my Marvel chronolo chronological order. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm still on uh, Avengers. I gotta watch Dude, that. <laughs> you gotta watch Lord of the Rings. Best soundtrack in any movies ever. Um, and they still hold up today, even though they're like what 15 years old or some shit at this point. I don't even remember when the first one came out. But I was gonna get to Amazon is planning a reboot of Lord of the Rings, but they want to make it a show not a movie wait and it's gonna be it's gonna have the potential to be have a billion dollar budget Holy to make it with a b shit. a billion dollar so bezos that, loves his lord of the rings yeah, that oh. makes me interested in it bezos. because it's like holy shit like i'm not interested in a lord of the rings remake it, but if it's a show with a billion dollar budget it could be fucking cool wait a minute so a it's, billion fucking dollar budget you, you said they're making a show but it's a reboot so it's the same story well, I mean, you can't really change it. It's Lord of the Rings. I mean, you can change minor things. Oh, but something what are you gonna do? You know. Oh, I mean, why not just make a continuation? They can't. I mean, I, I guess you could make a continuation, but and it you wouldn't would be falling. Desecrate the writings of J.R.R. Tolkien. Yeah, I mean, technically, yeah, but there's so much extra. You see what I mean, though? 
What? Why, if they, they have a billion dollar budget for this shit, just make a new original medieval yeah, that's fantastical what, story and make it Lord awesome. It's Rings, so it's probably going to sell. That's true. More. That's true. It's got branding. It's got that yeah. name. Exactly. Everything's got yeah. branding. I'll still watch it. Remake stuff. I, I mean, I'll watch it. I'm not interested in a Lord of the Rings reboot. Make it happen, Bezos. With a billion oh dollar, a billion dollars, like nothing has no, no but entertainment medium of there, any kind has ever had a billion dollar budget has it a billion i'm pretty sure but damn that any uh, any video game any google movie. it bro but but i know one thing for damn sure for damn sure they better they better rewrite the script and rewrite the story just a little bit to rep, re-represent the, the orcs in a better light because the, right now the orcs how they're represented in the lord of the rings is pretty racist <laughs> okay it is pretty fucking racist. What? They're, oh, it's four billion revenue. Um, no, I don't think they're ra- they're racist, but there is. The, what's that article? Pull it up. There's an article. Some dude, some nerd fuck, was trying to say that the Lord of the Rings is racist because um, how they interpret orcs. What was the whole fucking ra- Lord of the Rings is racist about, or Lord of the Rings is racist about orcs. Um, where was this? Fuck them, they're orcs. I per, I personally prefer World of Warcraft orcs over Lord of the Rings orcs because <laughs> War, Lord of the Ring, yeah, Lord of the Rings orcs kind of look like undead. I mean, creatures. okay, even if it was fucking racist to portray the orcs in that light, we're talking about these books written by J.R.R. Tolkien. A I fictional, don't know. it's a fictional race of or species, whatever the fuck it is. No, but I'm gonna. What I was gonna say is, Tolkien was born in 1890 fucking two, during one of the most racially heated times ever. You know, he lived. So? he fought in World War. But I'm saying, even if it was racist, like it's okay because it's no, normal. Who would be fucking shocked? Like the the world was racist at that fucking time. Like even if it was, which I don't think it was. I haven't read all the books. I've read like the first book and part of the second book and I never picked up on any racism, but it's like, okay, why are oh, people is he talking about the books? This articles? I don't know books? if it's talking about the books or the show, but I mean the show or the, the movies, but the movies were obviously based on the books, you know? So was there any racism towards orcs? <sighs> I mean, you can't really say it's racist if they're like the enemy and they're fucking trying to, they're not even kill a you. race. They're a different species. It's like, how can you even be racist? But all I'm saying is, even if the books had like hints of racism in it, uh-huh. why would anyone be fucking shocked? Like I said, it's written by Tolkien, born in or born on January third, eighteen ninety two, fought in World War One. This is like, and he died in uh, nineteen seventy three. He lived through the most racist time period on planet Earth. I mean, one of the most, you know, maybe not the most, but one of the most racially tensioned times in our history recent history for sure why would anyone be fucking surprised if there was like hints of racism in it like i wouldn't be lots of things were fucking racist back then yeah but it all boils it down normal. to it's a fictional story Who exactly gives a shit a fictional race shut the fuck up exactly you're reaching um well i guess i'm excited for the show on amazon prime yeah, if it really I, I still gotta watch. I have. I, I, I will make a point to watch the movies, but not until I'm done with The Wire. Oh, The Wire is a good show. I haven't seen that in a long time. You just yeah, started. I just started it. That's, season one. That's a good show. Oh my god, episode seven. It's really good so far. So the moral of uh, today's episode is: don't search for racism in places where it doesn't exist. I guess. The moral of the story is there's too many damn subscription services. Oh, there is way too many damn subscription services. Too many damn remakes and reboots. Too many damn remakes, too many damn reboots, too many damn subscription services. They've got Hulu, they got Hulu Plus, and they got Hulu Plus Showtime, plus HBO, and they got Netflix, and they got uh, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. They've got Shudder. Shudder's a new one for horror shit, horror movies and stuff like that. Jesus. Uh, They've got Disney coming up. They got uh, DC. Marvel, I'm pretty sure, is going to have their (laughs) own soon. What else do they have? They have Showtime. They have Cinemax. They have... I can go on. Oh, yeah. HBO. Yeah. HBO has HBO Go and HBO Now. Difference being if you're paying competition. for... Competition. Yeah. It's healthy competition in the market. True, but damn. Like, everyone... Uh, I mean, no that's, that's a good Netflix. problem. It's a good problem to have because there's so many options right now of good quality shows. 
where like the only problem now is like fuck either subscribe to everything yeah. or just <laughs> or Netflix. one yeah, and then Netflix. kind of watch that later on yeah you know Netflix, what I mean? like, let's be honest everyone has fucking Netflix you know I do, but I, I don't know. I can't say Netflix is king because every time I go on Netflix, they have a lot of shows. It's just I don't find anything that catches my eye or that's very interesting. That's because we're spoiled and there's so much True. other shit. If that was, if someone in the 1950s was given Netflix, they'd be like, holy fucking well, Of shit. course, you fuck. They didn't have computers exactly. back then. Exactly. That's how I am. <laughs> what are you talking I nev- about? I never watched saying. shows. So when I open up Netflix, I'm like, 1950s, fuck. 1950s, exactly. mine will be blown. Like what the fuck? But I'm saying back then they had fucking five channels. You know, like we have so much shit. Like you're just saying that we're spoiled. It's like, oh, this this show that probably Good. God is damn amazing. It. It's like, uh, I want to have choices. Boring. Fuck it. Yeah, but... That's good to have choices for sure. So it's just my two cents. I want to say you're spoiled if you, you're spoiled if you feel like you deserve it and it's you're wondering you're getting mad that why you're not getting it. No, that's right. being spoiled. Well, I mean, we have more. Being spoiled is why are they ending Game of Thrones on season eight? We need a season nine and ten. That's a whole nother rabbit hole. <laughs> so. All right, I'm gonna go watch some. Uh, well, first. Before I decide what to watch, one. before I decided what to I'm watch, gonna I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to decide on the streaming subscription service. But now that you mentioned, I am hungry. I might go to Chick Fil A get some breakfast, you and then it. and then start some video game hunting. All right. Uh, yeah, I am going to go to Chick Fil A because I hate gays. I'm homophobic. <laughs> you know, don't forget to use coupon code at the drive-through window. God hates fags for an additional ten percent off <laughs> and a free side of nuggets. <laughs> all right. All right, don't forget to rate and share this podcast if you're on iTunes or Stitcher, whatever medium you are on. Google Play. If you're listening to this or watching this. Oh, you know what? Do yourself a favor. We're on Spotify. Listen to us on Spotify. There's like, everyone listens to us on Apple, whatever it's called. I guess it's most convenient. iTunes. Google Play. Yeah. Uh, Listen on Spotify. Try it out. Yeah. If you're listening to this or watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe it. And if you don't like it, then dislike it, I guess. I'll I'll give you a pass on this one. You have my permission to dislike this episode, cunt. And with that, see you guys in the next one. Thank you for listening to episode 26 of Bro Tutor. We will catch you guys in episode number 27. Fuck you.